Well, I actually started about 11 years ago before it was incorporated, and Hebron had it as one of its mission projects. So I went down with some friends to the red brick house, and we sorted linens and went several times and did that. And then it moved to Fry Road, so I started going there to help get things organized and served as an ambassador and took the families around to help them select their items. And then when we moved to the Oakmont location, it was really fun to help set up the homeroom store, so to speak, and get all of those items ready. And now I work with uh, sorting new intake and donations and serving as an ambassador and whatever is needed down there. It's just really great. Well, to me personally, it's just so rewarding to be productive and knowing that what you're doing is making a difference in somebody's life, and in this case, in many lives. So it could be a financial donation, it could be working behind the scenes, it could be actively working with the families. It doesn't matter. Being a part of this is just so beneficial, and it takes the focus off of us and turns it on to serving others. Well, there are many, actually. <laughs> with working with so many families, there are a lot of things that have stuck out of my mind, but there's one story in particular, and I had a young man come in as the family that I was working with, and he had waited a long time on the list to get a bed. And by the time he got in to get this bed, he came in, he was so dejected and so depressed, and he was explaining to me that he knew that in about a month or two, he was probably going to be going to prison for a while. This just chokes me up. And he just couldn't uh, face the future. So it was obvious that more than just the bed, he needed Jesus Christ in his life. So we talked to him about it and prayed with him and for him. And in the midst of our prayer, he just gave his life over to Christ. And we were all crying. And he was just, um, it was such a change right there, visibly, in his life. And he left with a bed, and he left with more joy and peace in his heart. I mean, he still had a rough future to face, but he had so much peace knowing that Christ would be with him, loving him, and just being with him every step of, every step of the way. I would say just come, experience it. The atmosphere is one of such love and kindness and giving, and it's just amazing. You just know by being in this location that the Lord is in charge of it all. He's got great plans for this and for the people who are here. And besides, another side benefit is you make good friends out of it. So I would just say, come and experience it.